Hey there boys and girls, Matt Bauer here with another Wild and Wacky How My Computer Works video. This one's about email. More specifically, choosing an email provider. So in this video, I'll compare the features for two of the most popular email providers, Gmail from Google and Outlook, formerly Hotmail, from Microsoft, to help you choose which one is right for you. First up, the interface. Gmail's interface has the Google bar on top with personalized advertisements. Now these ads can seem a little creepy sometimes because they're based on the content of your emails. Now Outlook's interface is much cleaner, containing only the email and generic ads. Cleaner interface, less creepy. Next, storage space and attachments. Gmail gives you 10 gigabytes of storage for your emails and allows you to send attachments up to 25 megabytes in size. This is typically the standard. Outlook, on the other hand, gives you virtually unlimited storage space, meaning that the space grows with the size of your inbox. Outlook also allows you to send attachments up to 100 megabytes in size, or up to 300 megabytes if you link your SkyDrive account, also free from Microsoft. Next, organization. Here's where Gmail has an advantage. It has labels, which act as a combination of tags and folders. You can set up automatic filters to label emails for easy access in the future. Gmail also has a feature called Priority Inbox, which pretty accurately and automatically figures out which emails actually matter and places them in a separate section before all the others. Outlook's organization is somewhat similar to Gmail's with a feature called Sweep, which works almost, but not quite, like labels in Gmail. All other organization in Outlook is fairly automatic. And finally, accessibility. One key element here is that having a single Google account allows you to access all Google services, and they integrate pretty well with each other. So if you decide to go with Outlook, you'll obviously need to remember a separate login. In the other realm of accessibility, Gmail allows you to add your Gmail account to any number of third-party email programs like Apple Mail or Mozilla Thunderbird, and especially your smartphone's email apps. You can do this with Outlook, but only through a protocol called POP. Basically, this means that the changes that you make using that third-party email program won't sync to the mail server. For example, if you send an email to someone using, let's say, the mail app on your iPhone, the sent message won't appear when you look for it in Outlook on your web browser. Gmail, on the other hand, supports POP, but most importantly supports IMAP, which syncs everything both ways. Here's the bottom line. If you just want a clean email-only webmail service, Outlook would be great for you. If you're a power user who needs more than just email and access to it on more than just your web browser, go with Gmail. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video, or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.